Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. You know, one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel is to be able to talk to people about my trading card hobby and enjoy the experience with other people. Cause I don't, you know, my wife, she likes to talk about it, but she doesn't really like to talk about it. Today, I get to share with you guys the card sorter, the magic sorter. Um, this is not paid for. I bought this full on. This is not a advertisement or anything like that. I want to share with you my first experience with the magic sorter. Let's talk about it and let's look at it. So this is, uh, this got in yesterday. I believe it's from Italy. Uh, it's called the magic sorter. Let's sort this out. And it is sorting magic, the gathering cards. So I'm just going to let you watch it for a minute. Right now we have it sorting by color. There's a bunch of different options. We'll talk about why I'm doing this and what we're doing today and what we're gonna use the machine for in the shop. But you can see it picks up the cards, drops it in and it's sorting by color. So these eight rows right here, these, uh, these five sets of eight rows are the cards that we put in. Uh, and then it is just picking up one card at a time from there and it's color sorting it into uh, the different piles. So uh, pretty cool. You can see on here, it's picking up the card, it's picking up the set um, and it's matching it. And then if you go to logging, it is showing you uh, the stuff and then it exports it as a CSV, uh, which then you can import or do whatever you want to um, with the info and the data. And then of course your cards are also sorted. Uh, so let's talk about it a little bit, um, give you guys some of the thoughts, the initial impressions. Uh, this is going to be a very common theme. I hope it's going to be a very common theme on the channel. I hope we are often talking about the card sorter and utilizing it, how I'm utilizing it for the business. Uh, but let me just first off start and say 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when I started collecting, man, I'm old. When I started playing Magic the Gathering and started collecting, uh, I was I was sorting through cards and I remember thinking to myself, man, if just a machine could do this, it would be so much better. It'd be so much easier and more efficient. Uh, and now it's cool. It's cool to have all these things on the market uh, where people actually are creating these machines in order to help stores and individuals sort their cards. Um, we've talked about this a lot on the channel. Every now and then I bring it up. Uh, but there's a bunch of different things on the market. One of the things I wanted to do on the channel was share with you something on the market that is more accessible and reachable uh, for the average magic player, but also somebody who is doing this as a little bit of a business. There are a couple of these on the market. The Roco Sorter by TCG Player is by far the most popular one for stores, uh, but it is $25,000. It's very expensive. Um, and so this one is much more accessible. I think the, uh, the price on this was just around 3,000. Uh, so for a store, certainly something that's more accessible, but even as an individual who's doing this as a business or, you know, side hustle, it is something that is reachable in that range. Uh, if you can find a way to monetize it and make it more efficient for you and your business. So, um, a couple things, this came and it didn't work at first. Uh, there was a couple things. I'll put a little graphic of what was going on. Uh, the pump. So what happens, um, if you're, if you want to know in here, there's just a little air pump. Uh, it's right here and what it's doing is it right now the air pump pushes out and it's picking up the cards And so the air is what like it's an air pressure system that's keeping the card and then now it releases the card right there The air just released um, And the air pump was not working correctly just because something wasn't plugged in uh, all the way and that could have happened in shipping Obviously all the way from I believe it's Italy that these are made um, and so, you know, it, it took some finagling and that is one of the negatives, I think, on the Roco, compared to the Roco sorter, is that this is going to have more issues than a $25,000 machine. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, if I can get multiple machines, uh, hypothetically, this thing is supposedly able to sort around 850 to 900 cards an hour. I believe the Roco sorter is 1,200. Um, so the idea is that this is just going to be constantly running. When we're open, we'll be sorting cards. Uh, and right now we're sorting by, um, by uh, color. And the idea, hopefully I'm working on a way that we can do it by color and then pull any cards over 50 cents that will then get uploaded to our TCG player account. Uh, but it'll sort by color. Um, and then, you know, eventually we'll, once our whole inventory is sorted by color, we'll take it all through and do alphabetical. So then our bulk bins will be sorted by color and by alphabet. I don't think we're going to get into the sets. Um, I just think by color, by alphabet is probably good enough for our level of bulk. Uh, but I do know people who utilize these and then list all the cards for us. 
We're just gonna keep things organized for our bulk for now. And then the idea is you'll be able to take your cards into the store, uh, your, you know, your collection, and we'll sort your cards for you and we'll charge you a fee, whatever that is, per thousand cards or something like that. We'll sort your cards and give you a CSV file and it will it'll even pull out the cards that are more expensive is the idea. So that you have your cards inventoried and cataloged and you know what cards are valuable from your bulk. That's kind of the big idea that I have as a store. I don't want to get into the idea of selling every 25 cent card and uh, you know ha shipping out thousands of cards a day on TCG Player. That's not really what I want to get to. Maybe eventually we get there. Uh, but for me, the idea is just to have a machine for our community to utilize and use uh, and be able to monetize it in that way where people can come in have a collection we'll sort it for them and then even we can make an offer on the higher end cards that way as a way of kind of extracting additional value out for the customer uh, we're also going to use this uh the idea again this is all hypothesis on what can we do with this sorter that i've just had for 24 hours uh, but the hypothesis is we'll be able to run people's collections through this too. All the time people bring in collections and it's cards that are worth, you know, $5, $20, $30, and then a bunch of cards that are worth like 30 cents. Uh, and they're all shifted together. And so instead of telling the person, hey, you got to you know, separate out your expensive cards, tell us what you want to buy. Uh, we can actually say, yeah, we can take that collection. We can put it through our card sorter and it will pull out any card over you know, a dollar or any card over 50 cents or whatever. And then we can make an offer on that collection. And I don't have my employees spending all their time scanning each individual card by hand uh, where they could be interacting with customers and whatever. Instead, they load it in here. They're back up front. They're working. They're doing what they need to do. Uh, and then the machine is doing the work to make sure that we aren't missing any valuable cards and that stuff from people collection. So that's the idea. Um, that's the hypothesis. Again, uh, not everything worked perfectly and that is what it is. Uh, but I think we've got it up and running. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of hiccups and things we got to figure out on how to utilize it. This is literally the first sort that we've done. Uh, so there's a lot of learning curves here, uh, but prepare for this on the channel for lots of content as we trial and error this. Again, uh, they are not sponsoring this in any way. Um, it's just something that uh, I've always wanted and so it's something that we picked up. So let me know what questions you have in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and we'll see you again next video.